Hello, and welcome to the Reactor. Alrighty, um, another request. Uh, this is going to be request week because I still have more to go. And then uh, it just never ends. Well, I'll just keep it going. Whatever the hell I'm doing, I don't even know. All right. So this is Baphomet. 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 I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is. I think it's Baphomet. The dead shall inherit. Uh, from 1992, when music was badass. And this is uh, The Suffering. Um, it's actually the whole album, but I'll stop it after the song. So here we go. Uh, where do... Things are not what they seem. Okay. Where am I? What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Perfect intro to the album art. I like it. Speaking of which, this is a beer with Count Chocula cereal. slow down so so woo. all right so this is so far awesome um uh, i love the intro it gives you that nice spooky ride now this band is different very different but i love music with palmed muted heavy riffs that's just one of my favorite things of all time you know the the old uh you know megadeth metallica um uh, you name it. Everyone, every hardcore heavy metal band in the 80s and 90s all had heavy muted riffs. And it's just, I don't know, something about it. And especially the ones with the quick, you know, that, that just quick muted palm riff. Um, and then to add the, this guy's a great drummer, um, the sick beats to that. And the bass that came in on that... Um, intro of the song when that when all the instruments came in and then the bass line just had oh man that was beautiful i really really like that um the recording in this um the mix in this and the engineering is really different because it's so 
it's so weird. Like the placement of things are kind of um, in strange places. I like it though. Um, the vocals are like right in your face and they are just talking to you. And uh, meanwhile, the, you know, the music is just doing its thing in the background. So there's this beautiful dance of the uh, instruments happening all around your head. I love it. This That's the beautiful arrangement. I like the way they did it. It's not typical, but then again, I don't like typical things. So absolutely awesome. Um, now, if I can figure out how to go back. There we go. Um, to this crazy, um, crazy beat, 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 beat. <laughs> So gritty. Oh, I gotta hear this again. This is great. I love this. I love this part. Like the uh, one guitar is over way in the background, and then the other guitar comes in way in the foreground. That's beautiful. I just I, I like that. That's beautiful. Way back here. And then right there. Oh, I love it. What an ending. Wow. Wow. So I, I really uh, enjoyed this tune. It's it's a it's a beautiful uh, it's a beautiful head smasher, you know, and uh, and I do really like the way that they changed up uh, quite a bit of things. Uh, it wasn't the same kind of riff, you know, uh, throughout half the song or you know this part of the song and then they do this other thing and then they go back to the same riff and then you know typical typical rock and roll stuff you know but this is a change every every measure i guess it's like everything is kind of different um uh, the vocals um not not unbearable for me and that's saying a lot um because i don't uh generally 
love um, death metal vocals. Um, I do like some. Um, this one isn't so harsh. It's very gritty and very earthy. And um, so it's not so bad. Um, so for me, it's, you know, it's, it's bearable. And that's um, just my likeness of, of metal music. I tend to like um, emotional um, vocals. This is just a very straightforward, I'm going to kill you. I want you to die. You suck. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, typical death metal stuff. Um, but I, I do like the way that it is really super gritty and super low, low, low tone. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, so, so it's, it's not, not terrible for me. Uh, I know a, a lot of you guys out there love death metal vocals. Um, and uh, there's many, many different styles, as, as I'm finding out along this, along this journey. Um, and I'm finding out a lot of uh, different ways that vocal techniques and things that they do. Uh, and so now I'm starting to get uh, more of an appreciation uh, for that style. Um, very cool. But overall, awesome, heavy riffage, a lot of change-ups, uh, the bass... <laughs> the bass chords and, and uh, um, um, uh, scales and everything were like, oh, it's just beautiful. Um, the drummer did some amazing things during those times where, um, you know, you get your regular beat and then you have this chance to kind of do something different while the other parts of the rhythm is happening. So and it took every opportunity to do something different and weird. Uh, and I love it. So, great tune. Um, you know, I, I never heard of them uh, back in 92. I mean, this is when, um, these are the tool days for me, really. And uh, um, in that realm, uh, I can't remember what the hell I was doing in 92. I had just, a year after graduating high school, I mean, I, I don't remember much of what I did. I did a lot. I wish I could remember most of it. Um, well, in any case, uh, I think we can all, uh, you know, not remember some of our past, right? Okay, then. Well, ending on a cheery note. Until the next time. Cheerio.